There's a reason that hand sanitizer does the job it does. And there's a reason it's effective at killing the little germies on your hands. It's what it contains within it. And if you're going to be subject to a police breathalyzer test, it's generally not a good idea to swallow a load of hand sanitizer before you take it, because you will be found out very, very quickly. How do everyone welcome back to the channel for a Sunday? I hope you're doing all right. I'm not too bad myself. I'll tell you, I've heard some stories in my time. I really have, but this one takes the biscuit. Hand sanitizer contains, well, alcohol, for want of a better word. It's, uh, you know, alcohol and aloe vera or a similar kind of compound used for cleaning your hands. And being alcohol, it will have a alcoholic content, albeit probably far lower than most other stuff. I want to introduce you to a young lady now. Have a look at this picture. Twenty-nine-year-old Sophie Nutter. <laughs> yes, good last name there, I think. Was driving a car down the road, swerving all over the place, and the police found that all of her tyres were flat. The front windscreen was smashed, and there was a little bit of the old claret in some telltale places. When they decided to pull her over, she necked a load of hand sanitizer to try and mask the breathalyzer she knew was coming. Her eyes were glazed over. She couldn't put a sentence together. It was sheer fucking carnage. Anyway, she got nicked. And the best was yet to come. See, seems she's got previous history for being a bit of a pain in the backside, particularly where drugs are concerned. So, a bit of a wreck. And not the brightest button in the box downing a load of hand sanitizer to try and get herself out of trouble. She did admit her guilt and said, yes, hands up, Gov. I've done it. It was me. Well, she didn't have a lot of choice, really. She was banged to rights. But judging by the previous offences and she's still out there walking the streets, I expect a slap on the wrists and being told she's a naughty girl to be let out to do it again. We will see, but unbelievable. I suppose the moral of the story is... Stick to cleaning your hands and don't drink the stuff. Toodaloo!